this is Becca from Becca's Music Room and today we're going to be showing you how you can turn a PDF into a Google Slides activity so kids can do it online. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so other people can find it as well. So let's hop right on in. All right, we have now entered the screen sharing portion of this video. So we are going to see if we can convert a PDF to a Google Slides presentation. Now there's a few different ways to do this, but basically you need to convert your PDF into images in order to insert them into your Google Slides presentation. There's a few different ways to do that. So one way you can do that would be to take a screenshot of your PDF. So I just pulled up this little PDF here. This is in my Becca's Bible class teachers pay teachers store and it's a like little printable lesson that goes along with David and Goliath and and it talks about how Saul wanted David to wear Saul's armor and use his sword and all those things and David was like yeah no I'm not gonna wear all this really heavy stuff I've never used before and he took his slingshot instead so you could zoom this out so that you can see the whole thing and then take a screenshot of each page. I'm not going to show you that because different computers do different things. So you should just Google what your computer does. You can also come to smallpdf.com and you can convert a PDF to a PowerPoint. Once you get in PowerPoint, you can save the PowerPoint as images. We're not going to do either of those things. What we are going to do is I'm here and I'm going to come up to file and export. You might also have a save as that could work. And I want to come down here to format and either pick JPEG or PNG. And then you just got to decide where it's going to save. Let's make a new file actually, just to double check that I know which one it is. So we'll call this, that's not a screenshot. Oh, well, here we go. We'll call it screenshot and I'll save it there. So then if I come down to my finder and I go, to there, I'm gonna go to screenshot, you can see that I have this page. And so then I would go down to the next one and do the same thing. So this is just a blank presentation. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change my slide size. So you can see this is like the widescreen size. And when I put my PDF in here, it's not gonna fit very well because it's supposed to be something that is printable. And so it is in the, um, like paper size. So I'm gonna come down to page setup and click on this. And then here are three different options you can pick. None of those are good for if you are doing your own thing. So what I'm gonna do is 8.5 by 11. And that is going to change it so that it is vertical instead of horizontal. I always get rid of the little text boxes just because I don't like them. Then what I'm gonna do, and this is different. If you saw my last Google Slides tutorial, this is actually better. So I'm gonna come up to background. I'm gonna click choose image, and then you can either drag a file here or click browse and go through that way. I find this to be significantly faster on my computer. So I'm just dragging the picture over, click done, and then it's in there. And the beautiful thing is that since you clicked background, you can't move it, which means that people can't change this. So if you're a TPT seller, no one can come through and like change anything on here. So then I'm gonna go to a new slide so you can click insert new slide or you can click control m and it brings out a new one i wish they would just do these blank because i hate all the little things like i already mentioned and i'm just gonna bring in my other two by doing it the exact same way so control m and one of the reasons i'm deleting i'll leave this one actually so you can see because this becomes the background and those will actually be on top of it so Oh, we did one of them wrong and did not save it correctly. Let's see if we can fix that. Forgot to, to oh, and I always forget. 
to do another name. <laughs> that is a very common problem here in Becca's world. Okay. Let's now pull up the new picture and click done. So you can see the text box is over here because this became the background. So here is what we have so far. And now if your students are tech savvy, you can just leave it this way, but I always like to make it as easy as humanly possible when dealing with children. So I'm gonna come to text box and I'm going to add a text box where I want them to write. And then because I want them to know that there's a text box, I always write, type your answer here. And then you can just copy this shape maybe copy and then paste and then I can drag my second one down and the third one down so now kids can type in here but they can't change any of this oh we should uh, I guess we don't really need one for your name and then same thing here paste and just set it there and set it there So, super duper easy. And like I said, there's a couple of different ways in order to do that. This is the way that I find the easiest. I am using a Mac, so I can't guarantee it's gonna be quite as easy on a PC. Then you can also add other things. So like if you wanted the kids to sort things, you can add shapes or you can have them make their own shapes insert images, you can make like lines, you can scribble, which is kind of like drawing because you can kind of, um, so if you wanted them to draw something, they could use the scribble. You can also tell them that they can insert pictures by clicking here and then clicking search the web. So if you wanted them to find something, they can just search in here. Like, if, I don't know why we would need to find a trumpet for our David, but if you did, all they would need to do is type it in here and then they can drag it over and stick it wherever you want. So those are a couple options that you can do to change what they need to do. So yeah, that is a super simple tutorial on how to change your PDFs into Google Slides. Again, there's a few different ways, but basically what you want to do is turn your PDFs into pictures and then upload them. So even with this route with small PDF, you can convert it to PowerPoint and then save it as a JPEG, or you can come down here and just do PDF to JPEG. That would be easier. Do that instead. So really easy. Let me know down below if you have any questions or further Google Slides problems that you're facing. And yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful week.